My, my assessment of this is pending, but it's certainly real. It's using an energy field and what we probably would say is electrogravitic, which means a type of anti-gravity effect from the electromagnetic forces. And whether it is a purely extraterrestrial origin or a mix of an ancient human extraterrestrial development. In a development that has sent ripples through the scientific community, a mysterious metallic orb, recently recovered from a remote region of Colombia, has just emitted a second pulse. This latest emission, unlike any previously observed anomaly, was not random. Researchers have confirmed it carried a distinctly repeating pattern. This discovery elevates the orb from merely another strange object under laboratory scrutiny to a potential watershed moment in human history. If initial reports are accurate, this marks an unprecedented event. The first time a recovered extraterrestrial or anomalous sphere has broadcast something demonstrably structured, a sequence that bears all the hallmarks of a deliberate code. For decades, scientists have scoured the cosmos for signs of intelligent life, often focusing on the faint, often ambiguous patterns emanating from deep space. The profound implications of a structured broadcast originating from an object found right here on Earth are staggering challenging fundamental assumptions about our place in the universe and the history of our own planet. We stand on the precipice of a discovery that could fundamentally rewrite our understanding of technology, the very fabric of physics, and the multifaceted nature of intelligence itself. The orb's patterned emission suggests not only advanced capabilities, but also a potential message, a deliberate communication from an unknown source. The critical questions now dominating scientific discourse are, what precisely is this pattern, and what profound message might it convey to humanity? The pursuit of these answers is where the narrative surrounding the Columbian orb takes an even more enigmatic and compelling turn, promising to unravel mysteries that could redefine our existence. What is a pattern in a signal, and why is that so different from noise? Think of it this way, if I clap my hands once, it's just a sound. If I clap twice in the same rhythm, you're going to wonder if I'm sending a signal. That's the difference here. A single pulse might be physics, but a repeated pattern, that hints at intent. Pulsars, fast radio bursts, even the famous wow signal, all created bursts, but without repeating structures. In communication theory, repetition isn't an accident, it's design. So what did the Bugosphere's second pulse actually sound like? Let's break it down. Imagine an object that can change its own weight, cool the air around it, and now possibly communicate through a hidden language of pulses. We're not just looking at a scientific curiosity. We're looking at something that challenges everything we understand about technology and intelligence. If you're fascinated by this discovery, hit that subscribe button because we're only getting started. And the next part will change the way you think about technology itself. The Pulse and Pattern Analysis Reports detail the second pulse as not merely a random emission, but a highly structured repeating sequence. Its distinct motifs strongly suggest either a form of resonance, possibly indicative of an underlying physical property, or, even more provocatively, a form of coded intervals. This intrinsic organization immediately sets it apart from typical background noise or stochastic events. To put it simply, Imagine hearing the same distinctive musical riff played twice in a song. Your immediate reaction isn't that it's a coincidence. You instantly recognize it as a deliberate, non-random element of the composition. The sensation derived from the second pulse is remarkably similar. A clear, undeniable pattern that demands interpretation beyond mere chance. Compellingly, some researchers have drawn striking parallels between this phenomenon and double optical pulses observed in deep space. They point to enigmatic bursts from the distant star, HD 89389, where identical signals manifested mere seconds apart. These cosmic echoes have, to date, remained entirely unexplained. Now, the chilling prospect emerges that we might be witnessing an identical, profound phenomenon emanating from an object directly within our possession, right here on Earth. Pause for a moment and consider the profound implications of this. An unassuming object, situated in a controlled laboratory environment, 
is actively broadcasting a signal that directly mirrors cosmic mysteries observed light years away at the very edges of our known universe. The convergence of these two seemingly disparate events, one terrestrial, one celestial, is nothing short of breathtaking. The true key to understanding, however, may lie within the sphere itself. What unknown components or properties reside within its confines that could possibly facilitate the generation of such an intricate and powerful signal? The question transcends mere material composition. It delves into the very fabric of physical laws. We are, unequivocally, not merely detecting a simple energy pulse. What unfolds before us is potentially the first tangible evidence of a form of communication that fundamentally transcends our current, limited understanding of physics. It challenges our established paradigms and opens a gateway to possibilities previously relegated to the realm of science fiction. The sphere, it seems, is not just an object, it is a profound message. The mystery surrounding the Buga sphere continues to deepen with the emission of a second, perfectly synchronized pulse, solidifying the repeating pattern that has captivated and confounded researchers alike. This consistent, deliberate rhythm is precisely what makes the object so compelling, pushing the boundaries of known physics and engineering. Consider for a moment the profound implications of examining a seemingly ordinary baseball only to discover a complex network of microchips and intricate wiring within its core. Such a revelation would immediately shatter any preconception of the object's simplicity. Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. This analogy perfectly encapsulates the shock and awe experienced by researchers upon scanning the Buga sphere. What initially presented itself as an utterly smooth, flawless orb on its exterior was, in fact, an exquisitely engineered labyrinth within. Every curve and angle of its internal structure speaks to a purpose far beyond random formation. The most astounding revelation, the true kicker in this unfolding enigma, is the growing conviction that the intricate interior of this object was, from its very inception, meticulously designed for the explicit purpose of transmitting signals. This isn't merely a case of an anomaly or a strange natural phenomenon. This is evidence of a potential technology so astonishingly advanced that it fundamentally challenges the very parameters of what humanity currently conceives as possible. We are not merely witnessing a groundbreaking scientific discovery. We are peering through a profound window into a form of engineering that transcends our current understanding, verging on what can only be described as magic. The Buga sphere is forcing us to reconsider the limits of creation and the nature of intelligence itself. The implications of this object's existence resonate far beyond the realm of pure science opening up a cascade of philosophical and existential questions about our place in the universe and the true extent of technological capability. Inside the Buga sphere, a fiber optic-like network, a central chip, and 18 microspheres all enclosed in concentric shells. No welds, no seams, no obvious way it was built. It looks less manufactured and more grown. These internal microspheres could act like resonance cavities or communication nodes. If it can shift its own mass, shield inertia, and cool itself, why not also send out a controlled pulse? The internal structure is so precise, so intentional, that it suggests something far beyond conventional engineering. Imagine a technology so advanced, it can manipulate its own physical properties at will. 
If these internal systems can generate a repeating signal, what else might they be capable of? We're not just looking at an object. We're looking at a potential blueprint for a technology that rewrites the laws of physics. And that brings us to the most radical idea yet, the theory of negative mass and fractal space-time. We're standing at the threshold of something humanity has only dreamed about. This is not about a mere scientific anomaly or a curious relic of a forgotten civilization. This is about an object that challenges the very foundations of our understanding of physics, potentially operating on principles we haven't even begun to grasp. To put it in simpler terms, imagine trying to push a shopping cart forward, only for it to accelerate rapidly in the opposite direction, pulling you along with it. This seemingly impossible phenomenon is analogous to the concept of negative mass. The sphere, through its intricate internal network, appears to possess the capacity to mimic precisely this kind of counterintuitive physics. If our current theoretical model proves accurate, this enigmatic sphere could represent the first engineered object in history to actively manipulate the intrinsic fabric of space-time itself. This isn't just an academic observation of a scientific curiosity. It's a potential watershed moment, signaling a profound revolution in how we perceive and interact with technology, the nature of matter, and the fundamental architectural blueprint of reality. Every groundbreaking discovery, by its very nature, generates more profound questions than it provides immediate answers. And this sphere, with its inexplicable properties, is posing questions so fundamental and far-reaching that their implications could irrevocably alter our entire understanding of the cosmos. Negative mass and topotemporal reality. Patrick Morciu's groundbreaking model presents a paradigm-shifting understanding of physics, positing an internal network within certain structures that, through fractal space-time, instigates a negative mass effect. This profound theoretical framework offers a potential explanation for observed phenomena that defy conventional physics. Consider the implications for an object like the sphere, which appears to have harnessed this very principle. It's as if this enigmatic sphere has discovered a profound cheat code to gravity itself, enabling it to drastically reduce its apparent weight by more than 80%, and crucially, achieving this astonishing feat without the consumption of any discernible fuel. This suggests a form of energy manipulation or displacement that transcends our current technological capabilities. Imagine a level of technology so profoundly advanced that it possesses the capacity to directly manipulate the very fabric of reality. If such a technology can indeed bend the fundamental rules of inertia, the inherent resistance of any physical object to any change in its state of motion, then the observed pulse pattern emanating from the sphere takes on an entirely new significance. This pattern could be far more than a random emission. It might be an integral component of its operational system. Perhaps it serves as a sophisticated diagnostic check, constantly monitoring its internal state and environmental interactions. Alternatively, it could function as a deliberate beacon, transmitting information or signaling its presence. Or, most intriguingly, it might represent a controlled release of energy, a byproduct, or even a directed output of its advanced propulsion or gravitational manipulation system. This is not the realm of speculative science fiction. This is a tantalizing glimpse into a form of engineering that operates on principles we are only just beginning to conceptualize, let alone comprehend. The implications for propulsion, energy generation, and even our understanding of the universe are staggering. The sphere, therefore, is not merely a curious object or an unidentified flying artifact. It is, in essence, a profound window into a type of technology so fundamentally advanced that it renders our most sophisticated machines, our spacecraft, our particle accelerators, our supercomputers, akin to simplistic children's toys in comparison. Its very existence challenges the foundational tenets of our scientific understanding and opens up a vista of possibilities previously confined to the realm of imagination. We are not just observing an anomalous artifact. We are, in fact, standing on the precipice of a monumental discovery. This sphere represents a potential key, a Rosetta Stone, capable of unlocking the deepest, most fundamental secrets of the universe itself, 
revealing truths about gravity, space-time, and energy that could redefine the very course of human civilization and our place within the cosmos. The sphere's second pulse has been called unprecedented because repeating signals are incredibly rare. Pulsars once fooled astronomers into thinking they had found alien beacons. Fast radio bursts triggered seedy debates. The wow signal still remains unexplained. Now imagine, for the first time, having such a phenomenon not light years away, but sitting in a lab. Here's where I want to ask you. If you were in charge and this object sent out a repeating signal, what would you do first? Would you try to decode it? Or would you be too afraid of what answering back might mean? Drop your thoughts in the comments before we reveal how scientists are planning to handle this. We're not just observers anymore. We're potential participants in a communication we don't yet understand. Human impact and future steps. Why does this matter? Because if this sphere truly operates beyond our physics, it could change transportation, energy, and communication forever. Scientists are preparing controlled experiments, exposing it to stimuli, watching how it reacts. International cooperation may be next. We're standing at the edge of a discovery that could rewrite our understanding of technology. If the sphere can manipulate mass, generate strange signals, and operate on principles we can barely comprehend, what else might be possible? This isn't just about one mysterious object. This is about the possibility that there are technologies waiting to be discovered. Technologies that could transform human civilization. But here's the twist. While researchers debate, the sphere has already changed one thing. How we see the universe. We're not just looking at an artifact. We're looking at a challenge to everything we thought we knew about the limits of science and engineering. Wrapping up with payoff. The Buga sphere emitted a second pulse. Researchers claim they heard a repeating pattern. And if repetition means design, then this object may not just be a mystery, it could be a message. Whether that message is from physics itself or from something far beyond us is the question we'll be chasing for years to come. We stand at the edge of discovery, peering into a darkness that might be alive with undiscovered knowledge. Each anomaly, each unexpected signal, is a reminder that the universe is far more mysterious than we can imagine. The sphere is not just an object. It's a messenger from the unknown, challenging us to expand our understanding of what's possible. If you don't want to miss where this story goes next, hit subscribe and join us. Because this mystery is only getting started. The universe is calling. Are you listening? We've just explored the mind-bending mystery of the Buka Sphere, a discovery that challenges everything we thought we knew about technology and physics. But now, we want to hear from you. What do you think this repeating pulse means? Is it a message from an unknown intelligence? A glimpse into new physics or something we can't even imagine? Drop your most incredible theories in the comments below. Your imagination might just spark the next scientific breakthrough. Don't just watch mysteries unfold. Help us unravel them. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Together, we'll continue to explore the incredible secrets waiting to be discovered. The universe is full of mysteries and we're just getting 